So welcome to Green Dog Gourmet. My name is Richard Jones and I'm the chef here at the farm. What we're gonna do today is have a look at making an acorn squash. We're gonna bake it and then we're gonna stuff it with a wild rice pilaf. So to start, we're going to cut our acorn squash just straight in half. And to do that, we're gonna do it from top to bottom. Uh, and that way, each serving will have an equal part of the acorn squash. Just get the acorn so that it's as flat as possible on one side and then put your knife, a large cook or chef knife onto the squash and then just rock backwards and forwards until you get it halfway through. And now lean it up so that you have the point of your knife on the chopping board and the stem is underneath. And this way you can grab securely with your other hand the top of the acorn and now simply cut down until you reach the stem and it will come apart very easily. The next step is to remove the uh, pulp and seeds and so just taking a dessert spoon you can simply scrape those out and remove any of the stringy pulp. So I'm going to pop that into the baking dish. I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Just rub that in the flesh a little bit. Then I'm going to take some salt. The olive oil helps, helps the salt to absorb into the acorn flesh as it's cooking. And then we're going to add about a quarter of a cup of water. And that steam helps to cook the squash more evenly. And finally, before we put it in the oven, I'm going to top it with foil and that will trap the steam in the dish and allow it to evenly cook the acorn squash. So now we have it covered with foil and we've got the water in there. The oven's preheated to 375 degrees and we're going to put it in on the middle rack. We're going to leave it in there for 35 to 45 minutes and then whilst we're doing that I'm going to show you how to cook the wild rice pilaf. And to start with that we're going to use about half a cup of onion, a little bit of garlic, the wild rice and some water. And so to start off just preheat your uh, stove with a saucepan over medium heat. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil and then you can add about half a cup of your chopped onion and then dice up some fresh garlic. This is uh, from the Barefoot Farmers Long Hungry Creek Farm and so take your garlic clove and then crush it with the back of your knife, the side of your knife and then just chop it up. So once you have the onion sautéing in your pot, you just want that at a medium heat uh, so that the onions don't get too much colour on them and they'll start to turn a little bit clear and then at that point you want to add your garlic. It's got about one clove of garlic here. You're going to add the rice and this coats the rice and allows it to absorb water a little more slowly so that it retains a little more texture in the final result. So once that has allowed to saute for a little bit, then you will add the uh, two cups of water to one cup of rice. It's a wild rice blend, so it also has some brown rice and white rice and purple rice too. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt and allow that to come up to a boil. So at this point you can turn the temperature up. And so now it's come to a boil. I'm going to give it a stir, turn the heat down to medium low, just so that it's at a low simmer. Put the lid on and allow it to cook for about 30 minutes. And so now we're uh, at the, about the 35 minute mark and uh, the 
wild rice pilaf is almost finished cooking. And so at this time I'm going to pop in some dried craisins. I've got about a quarter of a cup of dried cranberries or craisins. Uh, it just adds a nice sweetness, which is a contrast to the earthy flavor of the wild rice blend. So I'm gonna pop those in and give it a stir. And that's gonna uh, absorb some of the liquid that's left in the pilaf, as well as uh, plump up the dried craisins. That's just had a little bit more time to cook. We're going to put that into the acorn squash that we'll check in a minute and top it with some sliced almonds. And so now I've taken the acorn squash out of the oven. It's been about 45 minutes and the acorn is soft to the touch and then I'll use the tip of the knife that inserts really easily and it shows me that the acorn is cooked through and through. My wild rice peeler has uh, completely cooked. It has reduced uh, and absorbed all of the water in the dish. Firstly, I'm just gonna let these drain a little bit and then discard any excess water in the bottom of the baking dish. And now once I have these Back in the baking dish, right cut side up, I'm going to place the wild rice pilaf into the cavity and just mound it up slightly. Once you add the pilaf, I'm going to top that with some sliced almonds. Or you could also top it with some cheese. And then without covering it, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about eight minutes at 375 to toast the nuts and to finish the dish. And so after eight minutes, your almonds are gonna be finished toasting. You can get a nice bit of color on them and the flavors will come out nicely. Or if you use cheese to melt, it would be nicely grottenade on top, nice little bit of color. And I've just garnished it up with a little sprinkle of parsley and on some greens in a shallow bowl ready for your favorite guest.